my name is Erin Grinder Tunham, and I'm 27 years old. I'm 170 centimeter tall, and I'm 55 kilogram heavy. I represent Norway, and I'm a dental student at the University of Tromsø. And currently, I'm also studying medicine. When I was 15, I joined a local cheerleading team, competed in the Norwegian Championship, and got second and third place. I'm also a Minsa Norway member. Last year, I competed in the Miss Norway competition and became the third runner-up. For me, Miss Queen International is an opportunity to fight for human rights. There are many transgender people out there who cannot live at whose they really are. They are hiding, but it is 2020 already. We shall be proud of our pride. No need to live in the shadow. It is a good opportunity for me to get to know other contestants as well because I'm interested in doing a science-based research about transgender etiology. As far back as my memory goes, I think I always must have been a girl. No matter what other people said about my gender, but I didn't have that much freedom to live as a girl. We used to go to school in a uniform and have short hair. When we moved to Norway, I was my first time in life to have opportunities to grow my hair long and to wear makeup and woman clothes. I told my friend at school when I was 13 that I'm not a boy, rather a girl. It feels so good when one of my classmates finally asked me if I was a girl. At 14, I realized I really want to live as a woman the rest of my life. I told my mom and my stepdad that I want to do a male to female surgery. My family accepted me as me. My family already knew this ever since I was a kid, that I told them about this came as no surprise. However, my mom was worried that someone were going to bully me. When I came out in school at the age of 13, my classmates began to bully me. I met some people who reacted aggressively towards me. I believe 100% in world equality, but we all need to work toward that. We care too much about wealth and money and less about the values in all of us. Not just in humans, but also our fellow animals and environment. Equality for me means that we are all equal, there are no one who are more valuable than others. We should treat each other like we want others to treat us. No matter what skin color they may have, their religion, nationalities, gender, sexual orientation, body size, interest, and so on. We should stop bullying each other just because we are different. I feel honored that I came this far and a part of Miss Queen International 2020. I know there are many LGBT out there who are scared, who hide themselves in the shadow, who struggle in life and consider suicide. We need to raise our hands and our heart to help those who survive and still alive, their friends and families. Improving quality of life is very important. I'm very confident and I have a positive growth mindset. I think the most important qualities to reach a goal or to win a competition are endurance and hard work over time. Whoever represents Miss International Queen should be able to educate people what LGBT or transgender means and their values. My goal is to do a PhD or further research to find more answer about transgender. Knowledge will solve this equality puzzle in the long run. It's just a matter of when. The most important thing for me is my family. I'm so thankful for having them with me all the way in my life. We have suffered poverty together. We have had fun. We love and we cry together. I'm so thankful for their support as well as my friends 
and people who have supported me so far, the most important thing we need is for every one of us to listen, understand, accept, and respect each other. Thank you so much. Shh.